Hello, everyone. Um, it's very honored to be here to make this speech. So I'm very happy to have some connection with the U.S. friends. And uh, 2012 boasts to be a significant for the development of feminism movement in China. I just like to. Express my gratitude to our government for pushing the feminism movement in another peak in China. We felt sisters suffer a lot in the past, but at last we are free.、Um, even though we're still on the bill, but I think one month later they will、um, cancel the bill, and we have the completely free. What happened to us had a numerous impact in China and overseas. It was actually the first time that the international community knew that there are real feminists in China. Therefore, the connection between the feminists from China and our other countries was enhanced. As a matter of fact, the sisterhood of First Five played a key role in the progress of the First Five. So why did young feminist activists emerge in China in 2012? It is because the strategy of feminism in the academic circle to advocate gender equality in a mild way has been proved. This way are very effective. So we need to more radical way. We need to. Uh, create some other strategies to advocate the gender equality. Thus, the young feminist activists finally stood out. We use a very special way, like we launch a lot of art performance, so-called art performance, like Bloody Bride and Occupy Menstrual. I have our newspaper. It's Reported in 2012, it's about the Occupy Menstrual in Guangzhou. So it have a strong impact and have have a very historical influence in China. And from the Bloody Bride, we appeal others to pay close attention about domestic violence. In this month, the first day. Uh, the Chinese government published the first anti-domestic violence law. In China, that indicates if you you are faced with domestic violence, you can ask for help for police and courts. The government can help you.、Um, after so, however, since such determination was made, we are going to launch some action. We stood out. And we launch a lot of actions.、Uh, finally, a, there are some there are some positive policy changing、uh, in in China, such as,、um, for example, occupation men's room.、Uh, we need to extension the women's luxury. But at last, in the three years. Uh, there's some cities policies has been changed.、Um, they have allowed the women have a lot of、uh, rooms than men's. Surely, what we did under the religious surveillance of the police, the feminists have been under various investigation frequently. On March seven, twenty twelve, after the Chinese feminist five were detained and re then released, the street action. Of course, has been forbidden. Now, no one dares to appear on the public occasions. At present, the young feminist activists are confronted with new challenges and new missions. How far we can go in the future? We have made attempts to open a new pace. For example, cooperating with the market and proposing the anti-forced marriage topic. In China, patriarchal system as one of the form of patri patri patriarchy strictly restrains 
the young people. Every time when the single people, single young people return to their hometown, they would be forced to get married soon by their parents, which confused them a lot. Aiming at the phenomenon, we operate an、uh, anti-forced marriage movement. We funded our advertisement position. It will last、uh, one month on the subway station, promoting that single life could also be happy. We do not have to build up a family and make compromise to the mainstream family values to living a happy life. Like all the social movements, the Chinese feminist movement has experienced climaxes and bottoms. Although it is greatly restrained at present, we believe that feminism activities in China will promote it with their own wisdom and brave heart. Thank you.